All right, guys, welcome back to Home Theater Gurus. This is episode 13. So last episode, we went over how to select your screen aspect ratio. You know, if you have a projection screen and, you know, you have the option of choosing between 16, 9, scope, and basically it just comes down to how you use the room. No one can tell you if you're, you're right, you're wrong. I mean, that's personal opinion. However you use the room the most, you know, that's going to lead to your decision that you're going to make and what kind of screen aspect ratio you're going to use. But today we're going to go over 16.9. If you notice, you know, flat screen TVs and everything else that's in the living room, they're all 16.9. And that's really why a lot of the online media, you know, Netflix and Hulu and all that, you know, they're going the route of 16.9 because they're intended to be watched back on television sets. And sure, some home theaters, but not like before where, you know, we're mainly watching movies that were intended to be shown in a theater. So while we are going to go over 16.9, if you remember the last episode, I said that I feel scope should be no larger than 50 degrees. Now that's just my own opinion. I just think when it gets larger than 50 degrees, you know, your head begins turning. Now I do know some people that have well over 50 degree. I know a few, very few, but have well over a 50 degree viewing angle and they're happy with it. And that's perfectly fine because it is totally preference. I just know for myself, you know, when it gets towards the 50 degree range, especially 16.9, I do not want 16.9 that big, but scope, I can handle it at 50, but it's getting a little too big for me. But 45, I think, is a sweet spot. But anyway, we're going to start off with what THX recommends. And this recommendation by THX is just to get a nice immersive screen size, or what they feel gets you that immersive screen size, but is still comfortable for pretty much all viewers. It's not so big that you're having to turn your head, because you know you, you want comfort when you're watching something. You're sitting there for a few hours. You know You want to be comfortable. And so they've selected 40 degrees. Now, if you're somebody that sits you know, at the movie theater, you sit in the front row, you may find 40 degrees too small. I kind of sit the middle of it, maybe three quarters of the way back when I go to the theater, which I don't go very often because I have a dedicated room. But when I do go, you know, I definitely don't want to be in the front. But if you like the middle to three quarters at that area, 45 degrees is probably what you're going to like. But we're going to start off with 40. So to calculate 40 degrees, well, first, let's go over what viewing angle is. So let's say... Here's your seats right here. Okay, and you've got a screen that's right here. And this is your head. The view, let's move our seats. I don't want to draw on them. Okay, that's your head. Here's our screen. Now the room, of course, goes past the screen. Viewing angle is this. It's that angle right there. Whatever those degrees are, that's your viewing angle. That's what's in your line of sight for the screen. So Let's say this is 40 degrees right here. If this guy moves up, or let's move the screen down. If we move the screen down, you know, if the screen was here, let's do a different color here. Let's say the screen is right here. He's sitting much closer. Let's say, you know, to this distance right here, say this is 12 feet away. Let's say this is a 120 inch screen. Let's say that right there is eight feet away right here well that's going to be an 80 inch screen and i i'm going to tell you how i can calculate this so fast in just a second but if this is eight feet away and that's a and this is 12 feet away actually i put eight right there <clears throat> then this is a 120 inch screen and this is an 80 inch screen but they're both giving you, you the exact same viewing angle which means when the lights are out the viewing experience or the immersiveness is going to be the same. Even though this is a 120 inch screen and this is only an 80 inch screen, it doesn't matter because he's sitting closer. You're sitting closer to it. Viewing angles are the same. Immersiveness is the same. So seating distance is going to play a major factor in immersiveness in the viewing angles. Whenever people ask, you know, how big should my screen be? The first thing you see is people asking, well, how big is the room? How big is the front wall? And that's irrelevant. The only question that matters is how far are you sitting? That's it. Now, of course, the room, you know, the front wall can, you know, determine how big the screen can be or like the maximum size. If you've got a low ceiling, maybe you're limited, you know, if it's a seven foot ceiling, you know, that can be a limiting factor or it could be real narrow. So you may have to sit closer up. Of course, that's also going to push you closer up to get your mains at the proper 60 degree angle. So you're going to be sitting closer no matter what. But 
you know, asking how big the front wall is is not the right question. How far are you sitting? That's the right question. So when people are talking about how big is your screen, really we should be talking about what's our viewing angle. So that way you can really get a comparison of how close you like to sit and how big your, you know, your viewing angles or your viewing, you know, what you see compares to someone else's. So anyway, it's just something to keep in your mind. Someone may have a 120 inch screen and they sit eight feet from it. And so now they've got probably a, you know, 48 degree viewing angle or something like that. And someone else could have a 165 inch screen. You think, oh my gosh, it's huge, but they may sit 20 feet away. And now, and they're in the upper 30s for a viewing angle. And actually it's quite small for, because of their seating distance because they're so far away and their viewing angle is small. So, you know, if you were to have the lights out, that 120 inch would be a much more immersive experience than that 165 inch screen. Screen size only means so much. When the lights go down, that's really what matters. So anyway, let's look at how to determine or how to calculate the THX 40 degrees viewing angle. All right, so we're gonna say this is a 120 inch screen. Now, some people like to go with, but we're gonna go with diagonals because that's what my formulas here are based on. And that's also when you go purchase a TV, like say you buy an 82 inch TV or a 70 inch TV, you're purchasing the diagonal. You're not purchasing it based on width and that's why we're not gonna use width. Okay, let's say here's our screen. It's of undetermined size yet, we don't know. But we do know that here's our head and we're gonna be sitting 10 feet back. So we've already gone over the last episodes. So we, we know where we're gonna sit based on modal behavior in the room. And we've got our main spread 60 part where we want to, but now we need to find out what size screen we want to go with. So if we want to know the THX recommendation, what I think is the minimum you should have, you know, if you have like a theater or something like that, or you're really, your goal is immersiveness. So for 40 degrees, let's say we're 10 feet away. Okay, we're going to multiply the times 12 so we can get inches. So 10 times 12 is 120. So it's 120 inches from here to there. So then we're going to multiply 120 times 0.84. So let's do that real quick. And that's 100.8 inches. So we're just going to say 100 inch screen. Now this is diagonal. So 100 inch screen. So at 10 feet, we need a 100 inch screen. Now let's say we were sitting at 12 feet. And 12 times 12, because we'd have to find the inches, is 144. So that's 144 inches if we were sitting at 12 feet. Let's put another head here at 12 feet times 0.84. And the reason I'm doing this twice is I'm going to show you all a little trick, so you don't have to you don't have to calculate it out. 144 times 0.84 is 120.96. You see what happened there? 120.96. So 121 with the 40 degree recommendation all you have to do is take the feet if it's 12 feet back add a zero if it's 10 feet back add a zero so if you're 10 feet back you know it's going to be 100 inches diagonal if it's 12 feet back it's going to be 120 inches diagonal if you're 16 feet back it's going to be 160 inches diagonal so just take your feet add a zero and convert it to inches and that's how big the diagonal needs to be on your screen to get a 40 degree viewing angle 16.9 now now remember, if you're 12 feet back from a 120 inch screen, you know that's 40 degrees viewing angle. Even at scope, it's still gonna be 40 degree viewing angle. So scope, 16 by nine, doesn't matter. You're gonna have a 40 degree viewing angle. All right, so quick and easy. 40 degrees, we don't even have to think about it. We just take the feet and add a zero at the end. And that's how many inches we need diagonally. And that, like I said, is what I feel the minimum should be. Now that also means, you know, like the biggest TVs you can get that are reasonable right now. I say reasonable, they're still expensive, but they have dropped under two grand. Like some of the LG and like their 86 inch TV, you can find them sometimes, you know, for 1800 bucks and they're 82s. So a TV like that, you can sit eight to nine feet and you're gonna be, you know, of course, an 86 inch, you need to be basically eight and a half feet back would be 40 degrees, but eight to nine feet back, you're gonna be, you know, close enough to 40 degrees where you're gonna have a very immersive experience. Now the downside is, the center hat can't go behind the screen, so that is kind of a negative versus having a dedicated room where you could put an acoustic screen up and have a center back there. 
but we're not going to get into all that. So it's possible to have a really immersive experience if you have a large enough you know, LCD or LED screen and you sit close enough to a, just a regular TV. But that's not always doable. Personally, in my room, I sit 12 feet back from a 70 inch. I would love to have an 86 inch and it would be a lot better. I mean, I watch a lot of sports down there and stuff like that. I would love to have a bigger TV. But I mean, it still wouldn't be as immersive as I would get like in my movie room or what I would want in a you know home theater, like a dedicated space. But if I had an 86 inch TV, like in a little, you know, small room, I would try to sit eight to nine feet away because, you know, if I was trying to gear that more towards an immersive little small home theater setup, you know, that was really nice and had a lot of wow factor, you know, I wouldn't want to sit 12 feet back from that in that type of room unless I had to for some reason. All right, so that covers 40. Now, 45 degrees is what I think is the sweet spot. Okay, I like a little bit bigger than 40, but 45 is perfect. I mean, everything is just much more immersive than 40, but it's not so big that you're turning your head, doesn't strain you, and you don't get fatigued. You can sit there and watch stuff all day, and it's just nice and enjoyable. So for that one, you're just going to take your distance like we did before. Say, we don't know how big this screen is going to be. We want 45 degrees, and we are 12 feet back. We're going to convert that to inches, and that's going to be 144 inches back. And we're going to multiply it times 0.95. So that's 137 inches for this right here. Of course, we would have to round you know, to something. Unless we're doing a DIY screen where it's custom, we'll have to go with just a generic size like 135. But 137 inches is what we come up with. And that's going to put you around 45 degrees. So if you're 16 feet back, you would just, you know, 16 times 12, find your inches away from the screen and then multiply it times 0.95. And that's going to give you the diagonal you would need from, you know, 16 feet away to get that 45 degree screen or viewing angle. Now, 50 degrees, like I said, is what I feel it should be the max is where I get to the point to where this is it's almost wearing me out. It's not fun anymore. So if we're sitting 12 feet back, you know, 144, that's 144 inches back. We're going to multiply times 1.07. And that's going to be a 154 inch screen. So, I mean, you can imagine from 12 feet having a 154 inch, you know, screen. That's a pretty big screen. Very, very wide. Now, of course, it's going to be tall too in 16.9. But even in scope, from 12 feet, 155 inches is pretty big. But... I could watch a scope screen from that distance. You know, like I said, scope is where it's definitely wouldn't, wouldn't want to watch 16.9 there, but scope's not too bad. It would be very, very immersive. Wouldn't be quite as comfortable for me as 45 degrees would be. But everyone has different preferences. So, you know, what I feel is perfect is not what someone else is going to feel is perfect. But one huge thing to keep in mind is from episode one, we learned that our mains, we want them spread 60 degrees apart. You know, ideally, we can go down to 53, even though I know 44 is like the absolute minimum. I still would use 53 as the minimum because you start getting below that and your image just starts collapsing. You know, the sound stage just starts shrinking. You have a wider gap for main to surrounds. We don't want that. So I'd keep it between 53 and ideally just put them right at 60. And 60 would be this distance away times 1.15. So... Even at 50 degrees, we're going times 1.07. You know, you've only got, the mains are going to be right up against the screen, which that's okay as long as the mains aren't too wide. I mean, you could bump it a little hair past 60 if you wanted to because there is some Dolby recommendations where they recommend you could even go up to, what was it, 80 degrees separation. You know, anywhere from 44 to 80. But I would just stay at 60. But I mean, that's a huge screen. If you're sitting 12 feet back from a 155 inch screen so i mean if you're in the 40 to 45 degree range it's going to be perfect because i mean that's going to leave you plenty of room for your mains to flank the screen and they're going to be you can put them at 60 degrees so i mean you're getting it all at that point you're getting a nice huge immersive experience that's going to be comfortable your mains are going to be properly placed where it's going to be huge the sound stage is going to be huge you know wall to wall past the wall sound it's just going to be very, very enjoyable. Everything needs to be set up right, starting with placement. You know, placement is key. If placement's not right, then you're going to suffer later down the road. So I hope that was helpful. 
Again, guys, this is not set in stone. This is just, you know, THX's recommendation. And then what I recommend and what I think the max should be. But just understand, like if you were to get a professional room plan, we would usually start with a 40 degree layout, a 40 degree viewing angle, because, you know, THX selected that for a reason. You know, we can put that in there and you know it's going to be nice and immersive and you're not going to have people complaining that it's too big or, you know, it's fatiguing. You know, they want to scoot the chairs back. That's not going to happen. It's a very, very safe angle to use. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when the next episodes come out.